Hey guys, it's me, Jay, the Black Filipino TV. Now, last night, it was last night for me, the morning for you, this morning actually, I talked about this in a live stream. And this is something I would usually talk about in a regular video, but I talked about it in a live stream because I had a lot to say. It was it was intense, what I was saying. You know, there's this, there's this thing going around that you can't bring your lady to the US. I know tons of people that are doing it and successful. And I, I talk about why. So I'm going to get into it now. The reason why I did this, I had a lot to say. If you want to see everything I said, make sure to view the live stream. We also had uh, some guests there, Cliff and Ruder, pretty funny. But um, I broke it down for you guys. And I said, you know what, let me go edit it a little bit and show them a little bit why. But you want to see the full the full explanation, go watch the live stream last night. And also, be, be sure to be there on my live streams. Uh, it's going to be every Sunday morning for you guys, if you're in the States. Sunday night from the Philippines. So you can catch it up. I'm going to talk about topics like this and different things. And I'm sure it'll be interesting for you. So why not check it out, right? But yeah, let's get into it. Without further ado, let's hop into the video. Yeah, I'm going to get into this because you hear it all the time in the community. You know, you can't bring your Filipina to the U.S. You can't bring her back home. And I want to go in deep detail about it. Okay. And I want to explain why you can. The U.S. is tainted, yes. But you still can bring your lady there. I'm going to explain why. I'm going to tell you why you can. Now, there are many guys that bring their Filipinos to the U.S. And they have heartache. But I think I'm going to save that one for a video of why it happens to guys. My boy Al actually messaged me. On you know, my hangouts, you know, I do speak with, with people I'm cool with on hangouts. And I have a couple of people I speak to that I actually met through the channel. Um, I speak to them on hangouts and he told me, he said, you know, you need to speak on this. You need to speak on how guys need to make sure they're, you know, being careful with their uh, with their, their Filipino when they meet them. Because a lot of times they go into the U.S., and then it ended up in problems. But I said, you know what I'm going to do in the live stream today? I'm going to do that on the flip side on why you can bring your Filipino to the U.S. But I'm going to do that. I'm going to address that, what he told me, in a video soon. That's probably going to be uh, Monday or maybe even Tuesday I may do that. But um, I'm going to talk about that. That's going to be one of my next topics, and I think it's going to be interesting. But still, I want to talk about today why you can bring your Filipino to the U.S. And because people already do it. Think about it. I'm sure some of you guys are watching, but there's some things that you got to be careful of. Okay. Now, before you get your Filipino to the U.S., sometimes, and, and, and Garrett asked this question, sometimes I feel if you're a guy that says, you know, you've been done wrong, you've been done wrong by ladies in the States. Okay. And you feel a certain way, you feel like, wait a minute, I don't know if she's used me, you're not sure. Number one, that means you haven't done your homework while you was talking to her online. Okay, while you're talking to a woman online, you got to do your homework. Okay, and, and sometimes that's not good enough. But like when I was talking to Kay online, like she was actually with the kids in class showing me the kids and I know it's, it's wrong, but she showed the kids and I was able to see them doing plays and see meet. I met the directress, the person that owned her school. I was able to see in teachers that were in her school, you know, so I knew everything Kay was telling me was real. Because I did my homework. But um, still, all in all, even even with that, you know, you may still need to go out and go live in the Philippines for a little while. And I, Because I do suggest that. I do suggest, especially for you guys that may not trust, come to the Philippines for a while. And, and, and it's crazy because um, I'm going to have one guest today. And the guest I'm going to have, they're a perfect example of why. You can bring your Filipino to the U.S. You know, because a lot of you guys, you know, you you hear from these expats and it's like, oh, man, I, I can't do it. I can't do it. And then I even see the video where somebody got my words wrong and thought that's that's how Jay feels. Jay feels you can't bring a girl to the U.S. And they were doing it for, uh, you know, for clickbait. They did it for clickbait. And I seen it. And I, I didn't even get mad. I didn't get mad. And I seen it, and they know who they are, but I seen it. I'm not mad at it. I said, oh, well, they try to use me to get to get shine, and that's fine. And But little do they know, I don't believe that. 
You understand? Because the way I talk strongly about things, because I'm I'm not just opinionated. I know the things I'm talking about. You kind of know, but say if you're a guy that doesn't trust though, what you would do is you would come say, you know what, I'm gonna go out and go live in the Philippines for three to six months or even a year. Because sometimes you still won't know someone. If you want to do that, you can do that. But me coming out here and, and living here, I know I could bring K to the moon and back. You understand what I'm saying, guys? I knew that before I came. Because you can know this before you come. You can know. Because my my, my lady I was talking to is marriage-minded. We both are marriage-minded. I know you guys hear that. I know you hear it on other shows. Other shows talk. Don't they talk about that? Someone that's marriage-minded? Okay, I wasn't marriage minded when I was in my twenties. When I hit my thirties, okay, especially when I gave my life to God, that was a big change. And that's how I met Kay. You know, we both were into the spirit. We both have the same religion, actually the same. Uh, you know, we have the same beliefs. So that right there was 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 it for me. Okay, and 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 that was strong for me because I had to meet a woman that believed the same things I believed. So that's how I knew. So when you meet some woman like that, she's not thinking about what, what a lust, lustful mind and she's preparing things, you know, she's organized. If you find a Philippine in a way I'm suggesting and, and, and you you move in that same way, there's no way that, that the West will make your Filipino toxic. Because before you even get your Filipino out there, you need to, I, I suggest coming here for a while, okay? For you guys that don't trust, House of Haas, like say for instance, if you're a guy that feels, okay, you know what? I don't trust the situation. Come live here. Come meet your lady. Then say, you know what? I want to go back to the U.S. I'm going to make money. You know, I, I trust this lady. She showed me in a matter of these couple of months or even this year. I, I know it sounds crazy, and a lot of you guys can't do that. But what happens is some of you guys get the woman out there and it goes wrong, and I'm going to talk about that. But the guest that I'm going to bring on today, and I can't bring you in yet, guest, because I want to talk about this a little bit. <laughs> But they're right now in the back room waiting for me. Um, yeah, character vetting and more values. You do need you do need to vet their more values. You have to you have to do your homework. Okay. The thing is, guys are bringing Filipinas to the U.S. and they're not doing their homework on them. They just say, "Oh, she's so gorgeous. Oh, I can't wait." And then they get her out there, and then you know she ends up doing her thing and then now he's looking to kill her for that because a lot of filipinas get out there and get killed from guys that get extra jealous and she goes and runs off and does her own thing and then he ends up killing her like what's the whole point of that you know you didn't bring your woman out there to, to for murder i mean it's crazy but it happens it happens guys this is not just tongue-in-cheek this is actual facts that i'm saying to you and this is actual this is actual reality of what needs to be done this is the reality and what happens is you have some guys out there that, of course, you think with your heart. I'm, I, I thought my heart as well. But when I met my lady, I also used my brain, too. That was the thing. I said, forget the heart. I got to use my head. I think a Filipino would, would be okay. The West for a province girl would be too much. Well, a province girl can take it. A province girl can take the West. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. I think you bring a province girl to the West. You probably would actually even you'd be good too because she's not gonna be she's gonna be more so like that's the woman you take out there and go have a farm, a province girl, and, and go grow your own food. You know that was happening in the US right now, they're locking things down if you don't got the jab and it's crazy. But taking a, a Filipino from the province out to the uh to the west coast, like that's a perfect opportunity, especially like me for instance. Kay's not a province girl, but actually no Kay is a province girl. She has a promise girl mentality. Even though Kay was, was in the city a lot, Kay has a promise girl mentality. But no, you can bring a province girl to the West. And a province girl is perfect to bring to the West and not be a part of the West. That's even more perfect. But you can do the same thing with a Filipina that's in a city if she has values. Okay? You got to make sure she has values. Like a lot of times, what happens with guys is they get Filipinas to the US. And I'm not saying that She's going to do you wrong, but you'll get a Filipina out there who their parents may have a street mentality, live on the streets of Manila, and that mentality is doggy, doggy, dog. Seriously. You know, I told you guys one time when I when I went to the store, right, I didn't give someone change because they opened the door for me. It was a lady. 
and I had a, 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 a cake, I had a bag of chips in my hand. And because I didn't give her a change, she tried to rip the bag of chips out of my out of my hand. See, now she can jump online easily and get a guy to bring her to the States and beat him in the head. Because a lot of times that's the ones that get these guys too. The same one that tried to rip the chips out of my hand will go right online, get a guy to fall in love with her, and then come to the States and then boom. And come to the land of opportunity and go, oh, wow, so many guys. Oh, wow. And get excited, you know, because they never seen nothing like that before. I think we're overlooking aspects of American politics, radicalizing people. A lot of women can easily fall into the propaganda that male leadership is toxic. Well, it, it depends, House of Hots. It depends on you have to mold your woman's mind, too, in a way. Not mold it, but you got to be in sync with her, like totally in sync. Like me and Kat can look her in the face and the connection is just there. And, and that's what makes the love stronger. Um, house, house of house. You have to, you and your woman have to be connected, you know, spiritually. Yeah, you exactly. You got to guide it. Yeah. That's the thing. Nowadays, men are not guiding women like they used to, you know. You have to guide a woman in the way she should go. Like you guys see, a lot of times they say, a lot of times, right, women, they can't, they, they have to go to men to get the direction. The woman out there in the world needs to go to their older brothers or their fathers or their uncles, say if they don't have a father, to get direction from men on who to date because they don't know no better because women lead with their heart. You understand? And what happens is a lot of times guys come out here and they end up leading with their heart. That's a no-no. That's where the problem lies. That's when those guys get the woman over there and they get done dirty. You see what I'm saying? Because they don't do their homework. They don't do their homework. And I was telling Katie, that I said, man, I need to write a book because the guys, this is real. It's not even game. It's like, it's the natural order of things. And I picked it up from, you know, just seeing it in my life, you know, like my real father wasn't there, but I grew up around my stepfather there since I was one, been married to my mother the entire time since I was one years old. So I've seen family. I've seen all of my family members with family. You know, I've seen my grandfather stay with my grandmother. I've seen my aunts and my uncles and a bunch of them, like my 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 my, my aunt. And I, then I've seen my uncle. You know, both of them with their 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 people with their um husband and wife until now. You know, my uncle was a little different, but still, I've seen togetherness with him. You know, to where the lady he was with, he's with now, which my, my auntie, love her to death. She's. They, they, He's brought it down with her. And I've seen that, you know. The problem with bringing women to the U.S. is American woman and PH, Americanized woman, getting in her head with American logic. And that's the thing that you got to mold, Derek. That's what I'm saying. You got to mold. A woman has to be molded, remolded. You know, a guy has to be kind of like her father figure, her father figure, her best friend, everything all in one. You got to be that. Seriously. You got to be that. That's why, um, that's why actually, believe it or not, that's where, that's where actually age gap could be, could work for, for, for the guy, because the woman's going to understand and say, okay, I need to respect him and I need to take advice from him and take heed from him. That's why a guy older, not even a guy that's older, a guy that has an older mentality, okay, and it's about his business, needs to mold his woman. That's why a lot of guys or want to move to the Philippines because a lot of times women in the West are unmoldable. But can you have a woman on, on, that's moldable in the West? Yes, because think about it, guys. Think about it. There's people that are living there now that are still married. They have happy marriages. You get what I'm saying? Like I got, I got my boy. I got a bunch of people out there. Um, I got Cliff and Rue. I'm going to bring on today. Who's actually going to come back to the Philippines? Who, who's, you know, together. I got my boy, The Wallace Life, who's out there. I got my other boy, um, what's his name? The, the Big O, who's been out there with his wife the entire time, you know? It's a lot of guys. I can go on and on and on and on and on. I can go on probably for the next 20 minutes naming people that go out there and been out there for years with their ladies. So you can't tell me that it won't work, you know? That's why it's like, okay, would I bring care to the U.S.? Of course I would, in a heartbeat. 
in a way I have to. My family's not gonna come here to meet Kate. <laughs> you know, I have to bring Katie to the US because that's the only way my family's gonna get to meet her. But do I trust her around the wolves and the snakes and in the pit? Yes, I do. I trust her in the pit and in, in the pit of the vipers. Because <laughs> really, guys, it's like you guys are explaining the pit of vipers. It's a pit of vipers in the US. Like you got Filipinas out there that American, ah, they try to pull at your lady and try to convince her mind. A woman got to be able to last through that. You can't keep your woman from the fire. You got to bring her through the fire. You see what I'm saying? That's what's going to test your relationship. If it doesn't work, that, this is the thing, guys. If I brought Katie to the U.S. and it didn't work, oh, thank you. It's like, thank you. I, I got that out of my life now. You see what I'm saying? That's how I look at it. Okay. K wasn't for me. But I know that's not going to happen, though. Because of, of our beliefs. You see what I'm saying? I date the most beautiful woman in the Philippines, but it will cost you. It will cost you a lot because she has many suitors. It depends. Um, it, it depends. Um, I don't, you know, chosen, but I don't get involved in in that. And plus, believe it or not, women in the Philippines, they can be the most beautiful woman, and they're not needy of things like that. Because in the Philippines, that most beautiful woman is normal. Except for sometimes you get women that are just drop dead gorgeous. You know, but no, even still, though, even still, the Filipinas most times a very genuine woman. See, another one here, Mitch Morena, it, it is it got brought to the states, still with her man. She's young, and he's he's much older than her, but she's not. She she been out there for what, like two years, Mitch? How long you been in the states? And the examples are actually coming to the show. Like, they actually come to the show all the time, you know? But she's a perfect example. So it can be done, guys. Like, don't get caught up. Don't get caught up with these expat videos because they'll have you, like, completely lost. Seriously. If these expat videos, some of these guys will have you lost because some of these guys are miserable. And I'm not pointing fingers at nobody, but it's true. You know, somebody, and, and it, it, see, yes, two years, Mitch Marina said. See, some of these guys, you know, they go through their situations and they go through their situations without thinking. And Abigail said it perfect in the video. If you guys watched the last video and ask a Filipina, she said, sometimes you can get an older guy who thinks like a kid. And there's a lot of expats in the Philippines that think like kids, you know. And I, I've even had guys tell me and I don't not, I don't consider myself wise, but guys have said, you know, Jay, I come watch you and I get more wisdom from you than anybody I've ever watched. And it's not it's not me. It's not that I have wisdom. Because I don't consider myself wise. A man that considers himself wise is a fool. So I don't consider myself wise. But that's what he said to me. And I didn't take it as like, okay, I'm wise. I took it as well, well, thank you, but it's the natural order of things. I I feel as a man at 40 years old, I should understand what's happening in, in, in the world. If I don't understand what's happening in the world. I'm gone. I'm doomed.